Now using this data frame, let us create a function to calculate the total profit. Within the parentheses, I want to pass the symbol. I'm going to cut this part, then paste it within the function. Now I'm going to replace this one with symbol. Now I want to get the sum of this column for that time typing. Now I want to convert this value into float, so I am using float function. Now I want to return the profit. Now let us test the function. Now I am creating variable called profit equals cal profit. I want to cal profit for gbpusd. Then I'm typing print profit. Now let us run this. Now you can see profit is 1.47. Now let us find the profit for Euro USD positions. Now you can see there is a 0 0.3 loss. Now let us build a function to calculate the total value. I am going to copy this function. Then rename cal volume. Then I am going to replace this profit with volume. Now let us try this one. Now you can see volume for Euro USD positions are 0.02 lots. Now let us find the volume for GBP USD positions. Now you can see volume is 0.04 lots.